LEGO Harry Potter is one of LEGO's oldest licensed themes, coming out in 2001 when the first movie released. Since then, the main character, Harry Potter, has had dozens of minifigures portraying his looks from many different movies. With the 20th anniversary of the theme coming out this year, there's no better time to think about which minifigures of these are the best. And on today's special episode of Brut and Figs, we will be doing just that. Welcome to Brut and Bricks' Top 5 LEGO Harry Potter minifigures from 2001 to 2021. At 5th place we have the Graveyard Jewel version of Harry Potter from 2019. The minifigure is based off of Harry Potter's look during the Graveyard Jewel sequence from The Goblet of Fire. During the scene Harry Potter fights the newly resurrected Lord Voldemort and manages to just about escape with his life and unfortunately not Cedric's life. The figure was and remains exclusive to the 75965 The Rise of Voldemort set from 2019. It was priced at £20. In my opinion, this is the standout minifigure from that set. As you can see, it looks incredibly accurate with a very good torso print and a recolored black version of Lloyd's hairpiece from the Lego Ninjago movie. The figure also has back printing, with the words Potter spelt out on the back and a star. For its accuracy, detail and clean look, this underrated minifigure definitely deserves a spot on the list. At number 4 I had to put the Slug Club Dress Robe version of Harry Potter from 2020. Hence the name the figure is based off of the Slug Club scene from the Half-Blood Prince. Like the previous minifigure, this one came in only one set, the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower from 2020, my personal favourite Harry Potter set. It isn't yet retired and it still costs £90. If you ask me, this is definitely LEGO's best Harry Potter dress robe minifigure so I had to put it on the list somewhere. That torso print is absolutely perfect, and I think the reused leg print works fine. On the back you can see some very simple printing, but it's still effective and it's nice to have it there. The hairpiece and reused face print may be a problem for some people, but I personally think it fits this minifigure very well, and I think this minifigure definitely deserves a spot on the top 5 list. Third place goes to the Ministry of Magic Battle version of Harry from 2020. I know this isn't exclusively seen in the Ministry of Magic Battle, but it looks to be based on that scene from that face print. See what I mean? The face print looks very similar to Harry's expression during the Ministry of Magic Battle scene from Order of the Phoenix. The minifigure comes from Harry Potter series 2, which costs £3.50 a pack. This minifigure does get hated on, but I personally don't see it. Detail is amazing, and that new face print looks great. In my opinion, it's LEGO's best Harry Potter in Muggle clothing minifigure. Surprisingly, the minifigure's got really, really good detail on the back. This minifigure earns its spot because of how much it brings to the table. It needs face print, toe printing, and of course, all the detail. The runner-up position goes to the only minifigure on this list that I do not own, the first visit to Diagon Alley Harry Potter from 2020. That figure only came with the behemoth Diagon Alley set, which had over 5,000 Lego bricks and costed 370 British pounds. If you have a closer look at the minifigure selection on the box, you can see that this minifigure doesn't appear there. This is because Lego did a special secret box in this set which actually came with that minifigure and Hagrid and of course a nice little stand. As you can see this minifigure is based off of the scene when Harry Potter buys his wand in the Philosopher's Stone. This minifigure is incredibly detailed and uses one of the most unique face prints Harry Potter's ever had. It reuses the hairpiece they designed for him for Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. My highlight of the minifigure has to be that torso print, it's incredibly accurate and detailed. The detail from the front is carried onto the back with some nice creasing to show how this outfit is way too small for Harry Potter. You can also see a very unique alternate face print. I believe it's based off the scene when Harry Potter is testing out some wands and it goes wrong. There's no way I could ignore this minifigure, it definitely deserves a run up position for its accuracy, detail and exclusivity. But in my opinion, there is one figure better than this. 
But before I get to that, here's a list of some honourable mentions of Harry Potter minifigures that didn't quite make the list but still deserve to be recognised. Now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one LEGO Harry Potter minifigure is... Quidditch Harry Potter from 2018. Like many minifigures on the list, the Quidditch Harry Potter was only released in one set, the £35 Quidditch match from 2018. Of course it is based off of Harry's iconic look from the Philosopher's Stone, the Gryffindor Quidditch robe. Now why did I put him in number one? Simple, I absolutely adore this look. The cape, printing, the hairpiece, the face print, everything about this figure is perfect to me. We don't get many Quidditch robe Harry figures often and this one is definitely the best. I love how unique it looks compared to the other ones. The figure gets more points for using a soft cape. Under it, there's some very detailed printing which is nice because you don't usually see the printing under capes. If you look closely you can actually see the yellow lining of Harry's robe. The minifigure is very detailed, very accurate, and I can't really see anything wrong with it, so there's no better minifigure for the top spot of the list. And so concludes my top 5 LEGO Harry Potter minifigures, the first Brute and Fig special. Do you agree with my list? If not, be sure to share your top 5 LEGO Harry Potter minifigures in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you enjoyed this video and what rankings you would like to see in the future. Be sure to check out my playlist Brute and Figs on the Brute and Bricks YouTube channel if you would like to see more Brute and Figs videos. And last but not least, be sure to make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and goodbye!